Alright, what's up, nerds? So we got the pre-release going on right now. The MH3 pre-release for... If you're wondering when we're filming this. So there's one more round for that, and we have an hour to kill. So we figured we would do deck techs here. No, you figured... I figured you were playing a game on your phone, so I forced you to put your phone down. Game's still running. He doesn't want me to show you, though. No. Uh, so anyways, I made him lay out his deck. I, I laid out most of it. <laughs> yeah. And I did a poor job. Because there's lands going all over the place. It wasn't I could have put these down here and lands on, I don't know, whatever. So anyways, you haven't updated this deck in, what, Doctor, yeah, three months, know. four months, something or something like that. that. Um, so there's obviously some suboptimal cards included in this list. So uh, I guess the lands are the easy part. Deserted Beach, Hallowstown, Henge Gate, Pathway, <laughs> four of each. Three Field of Ruin, I say round four. Mm. Three Islands, two Plains... Those are betas. I'm just gonna pull these up to the camera. One of them is signed, also. You want me to find that one? It's right there. Let's see, we've got some betas. I've had those for signed beta a lot of years. So, uh, two oh, restless anchorage. One Iganjo. One Hall. One Castle. One Ottawara. One Arden Vale. <laughs> that needs to go away. <laughs> you hate this card. You change it to a field. No. Why? It won't. It will, so it will not be field. Of ruin, that's for sure. Demolition field, fine. That's usually yeah, it, the will, fifth. it will not be. It, it will not be. A, uh, All right, I don't call this land. I don't know that we need to really talk about the lands. So removal. We got three marches. Two get lost. No, three get lost. Three, three get lost. I'm looking at two drop. Yeah. It's late. Um, I don't know, man. Do we have to talk about them? Like they're good removal spells. So, like, so here, the only thing about it is, like, I've kind of gone back and forth, um, cause, and they've been like, the fourth copies of these. So, like, I used to run four get lost. And two. Um, and it was two March, and then it went to three. It was at three and four, and then cut the fourth one here. Because it's, it's very weird. Like, they overlap, but, but they, they don't. But they don't, yeah. The, yeah, this doesn't hit the Planeswalker, but it does hit the artifact and this doesn't hit the artifact but it does the planes yeah yeah, yeah. So, so depending on i guess your metagame or what you're playing yeah. against you might swap them i like this just because if you're hitting like creature lands or cheap creatures it's like a very cheap spell but you can also pitch extra cards so uh, i like this i tend to i tend to lean on this i think more than i do on this because of the fact that like i can pitch for those higher right. things so if i'm not playing if I'm not playing against an aggro back and it's more later game, like your stuff like lockdown or whatever is gonna just be dead in my right, hand. Right. So like and, it, and the other thing too is like everyone's concerned about creating map tokens for their opponent. But <laughs> if you're keeping them off creatures, it, they don't yeah. have the ability to use don't even, them. Don't even care. So yeah, don't don't worry about that. Um, obviously there's like some major changes to the counter magic package. So you're still running change the equations, which were in the original list like six months ago or yeah. whenever Martian Machines came out, as I said that, yeah. And then two make disappears, and obviously, like, Casualty 1 isn't coming up a whole lot in this. It does, but it does, not but much. Not, no. um, and so, so these the were idea, prior to right, right. the No More Lies yep. being reprinted. So my assumption is that you would change these four into the fourth and fourth copies. So I, I much prefer just three copies of Veto, um, because it comes up way more often to not need this mm -hmm. and like and rather have yeah. this uh, so I, I don't think this would go to four I would think that this would actually probably like these would come out the other three of these would go in and then this would actually turn into something different like the fourth the fourth one you pull out would be completely different yeah right? yeah it wouldn't be it, it either gotcha. wouldn't be counter magic it might be another draw spell um, of some sort gotcha um, and you're not you haven't made the change because you don't have three more copies of No More Lies correct right I have zero copies zero more copies I right. opened that out of a promo pack yeah and you had intended to open promo packs yeah. and, and get a play set but just didn't happen and, yep. and yeah, I opened, unfortunately like, ordering order. cards online is a pain in the butt because you're paying so much in shipping for yeah. three commons <laughs> yeah three commons and if yep. you're not ordering a bunch of stuff it's just yep. not cost effective um, so then we've got I guess we'll just go through it in order so it's we don't miss anything. So there's three copies of the Wandering Emperor, which that should be four, but I only <coughs> own three. Gotcha. So, so maybe that swap happens there. It, it could the most straightforward yeah. thing. Um, obviously, it's a win con, but it's also removal. Yep. Whatever. Uh, one copy of Dig Through Time, which you seem to always draw against me. Do you think it's? 
Uh, I've always, like, when, as soon as Dig Through Time was printed, yeah. I've tried to play it in whatever, <laughs> whatever I could play it in. Yep, yeah. I love it. The two copies of Temporary Lockdown, which obviously good against Aggro. And that has changed because that was, I think it was originally, like, the, the list that I was working off of originally had four, mm-hmm. and I'm assuming it's more aggro meta. Ours wasn't uh, here. It, it's so decent against Rakdos, three. too. Um, and I've, I've turned it down yeah. two because it's starting here, especially mm-hmm. starting to see fewer and fewer yeah. decks that it's good against. Yeah, and like I was running, you you destroyed me with that one night because I was running four Forsaken Miners in my deck, and I'm only running two Tiny Bones at this point, sure. and then the smaller creatures. Like I, a lot of, even my deck, I'm I'm not running as many small. Yeah, creatures. like it's, it's really good against, uh, playing, playing humans. Yeah, um, but like around here, that's that's. Pretty much it. Right. Like, there's not much else. Yeah. So. so then we got one quick study, which I think you're gonna swap that too, or? I don't know. So I like it, um, but there uh, isn't there. There's another draw spell. That's uh, really most cool. people are using. So it's the two mana one draw that a card makes and a, clue. Make a clue. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know because it's a four mana investment. It's not, but, but yeah. Right, but it's like also do like quick study just for the simple fact that there's a lot of games where. A little bit far behind, and like just the extra two pairs is good to catch yeah. up. So three copies of Memory Deluge, and you said when we laid this out, I'm not running four. Yeah, I thought I thought I was playing so, four. So but maybe that's not. another swap that you're gonna make. It could be because I seem to, especially recently, not draw this card. <laughs> you always have them against me. Um, but I really like this. This is really good. Uh, one thing that happened in a video last week was I believe Chase had something that made it cost one more to cast. On his and, turn. Uh, and when you cast it, you paid five mana. You get to look at five cards. Oh, And you, sure. you missed that, so someone yeah. pointed that out. Yep, um, and that makes sense, because you're just, paying yeah. the mana for it. Yep. yep. So then, moving on, two Supreme Verdicts. Um, just a good board wipe that can't be countered. Cool. Yeah. Uh, farewell, which... Seems slow at six mana, but you pretty much always get to turn six with this deck. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty consistent at controlling the early game, and that just is a big reset button. Uh, one copy of Narset. I have a love hate relationship with Narset. So does I love the else, card, like. but every time I minus two, I see the fourth land that I'm looking for, yeah. and it goes to the bottom. So I minus when I played against you earlier, and like. Minus two, look at four cards, and it was three lands, and like the one card was temporary lockdown. Yeah. I was like, take the lockdown, and I was like, I really I wanted need those the lands. Lands. <laughs> Yeah, I really wanted the lands. Though. Yeah. So I, I think that she's better in a deck where you're punishing your opponent by like Gyre Reach Sanitarium or so something else. This was really good when I built the deck, and I mean, it was like phenomenal when I first started playing the deck. Now, not so much. It's good against like a deck here and there. Yeah. Um, but like the card selection again is, is something like, desperately need. So um, I just kind of left it in because I haven't made changes. Swap that. Like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and definitely, Maybe. definitely could. Yeah. Uh, and then you got. You're really only running two Shark Titans, mm-hmm. and you always draw both of them against me? No. Yeah. I don't always draw both. Yeah. No, no, always. Sure do. Go watch the videos. Yeah. No, Invite them to watch the videos. Today was, yeah. today was ridiculous. Yeah. Two Teferis, and you always draw both of those against it's me, too. Of, like, I didn't draw any Teferi. I drew one, and you took it. Week. Yeah, so you can't it's say always, see? And then one copy of Final yeah. Showdown, which... This is my ad. It's the best. He likes the card. A lot of people say it sucks. Literally everybody else is like, six mana, six mana board wipe sucks. You can't That's do it. Instant oh, speed. Boy. Like, the instant speed ability on this, on how many times I have caught people when they go main Including phase, <laughs> main phase, play my creature, do the other things, and then, so like, okay, uh, Final Showdown, choose to destroy all creatures, and they're like, oh. Shit. Yeah, so that's one of the times where you attack first and then play creatures later. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously not get, not, not get punished. Not everybody's, no, you know. If you're playing around right. Final Showdown, you're playing here, because that's yes. probably the only place someone's I'm playing sure. it. Um, but I, I, I like the card. I, I wanted another board wipe. Um, and it was, like, it was probably going to be Farewell mm-hmm. over another Verdict. And I figured, like, this would be... This would be better for me because it'd be at instant speed, so I can mm. actually hold it up yeah. as opposed to playing the farewell and sorcery yep. speed. 
And then I guess, oh, I guess you have the fourth veto in the sideboard. In the sideboard. I didn't realize that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, going to the sideboard, we've got the one Dovin's veto to make a play set. Two Damping Spheres, which I'm guessing come in against Lotus Field and Mono Green. Yeah, they were originally here for Green because nobody was playing Field. And but Ian, Ian is playing Damping Sphere. He doesn't play a camera because we well, should make him now, but... His choice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's been playing Mono Green, and it's basically like turn three generate 15 yeah. mana off Nykthos. Um, so you got to draw it against Pretty Nikthos. much lock it's, out a, a, a Lotus Field player yeah. with Damping Sphere here. Yep. Um, and and it's, it's just good, and like... I can play around it, so I don't really tax myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Two Chrome Host Seed Sharks. Yep. Which, what do you put those in against at this point? So around here, I've had a couple of times where it's like the slower mid range to like late game decks. These these become super helpful because like being able like to have those. Well, yeah. old Rakdos. Now it's just turn three Vein Ripper, but sure, yeah. Um, and like somebody else is playing uh, Control one week, and so they're coming against that. Because it's like being able to commit more bodies to the board for yeah. no additional cost, essentially. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty good. And then like um, somebody played Mono Red. Um, where it was just like hasty small yeah. hasty creatures. So, so like four toughness is real relevant. At three mana was it, it, yeah. it ended up being pretty good. Yep. So. so then we got the other copy of Farewell. Yep. Um against aggro Elspeth Smite comes in. Yeah, this thing is like a superstar at one mana. Yeah. Um another copy of Supreme Verdict. Yep. Uh Rest in Peace, which is obviously for Phoenix. Um I guess there could be other words. I brought it in a, I brought it in against, I think it was a like, Rakdos animate style, something yeah. like that somebody was playing. Scam. Yeah, something like that, and like, it's okay, um, but I find it usually has been like these, that was like a uh, Lotus Field mm -hmm. combo deck, like that's really where yeah. it or like gets if used. if Brett's playing the Seasons Pass list, yeah. the rest of Peace is good yep. there. Yep. Um, and then three Mystical dis Disputes for, I guess, the Mirror Match. So or they're decent against Phoenix, maybe. They, yeah. I've, they've been well, really good for me against Phoenix, and that's that tends to be the the all star. Um, I don't seem to board them in. I bore, I'll, I will board them in every once in a while when it's like I might not be playing against a blue deck, yeah. but I just, just need, need something. something else. Yeah, and then two Dream Trawlers for. So, the the original. I mean, it's a great creature. List had one. Um, I put two in just to give myself like, since there's no like creatures through this list, and if I'm going to play a late game, I wanted something that was large and impactful. Yeah. Um, and like, hey, it's a three five. It's not that large. It's not <laughs> this thing is oh, amazing. It, it basically has to be answered immediately. Yes. Um, and it has to be answered with non targeting. Yep. So, um, like this thing, anytime that I've said played it and no gone untapped with it. Yeah. Um, it seems to just like run away with yeah. the game. Yeah. So. Um, so I guess the changes to recap would be to maybe swap okay. one of these back and forth depending on which one you prefer. Pulling out the four of these to replace with three of those plus probably the Emperor. The fourth Emperor, yeah. And then maybe do something with these two. Yeah, and I don't know if it's like if like this if you if you change this, it'd be the. I mean, you, do, you said it. you wanted the fourth memory deluge. Yeah, I feel like so, I would want the fourth deluge, and that's why I say like this would yeah. probably be your deluge, like personally, um, and this would be this if you change it would be the one that makes a clue. Yeah, I can deduce. Uh, I think is what it is. I could be. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then like the rest of this, and obviously like the final showdown. Your pet you, card. Yeah, you could you could. Put that Honest, honestly, what a lot of people would probably do is replace the four of these with deduces to have Could be, the yeah. two mana uh, drop. Yeah. Um, so, and that's that's definitely a thing. I actually, I, oddly mm, enough, like playing the two Teferis and the three Watery Emperors has been very good yeah. in that combination. And like, um, I'd seen a couple lists that were like they play the full set of Teferis because you want to hit it. To it, but like, 
You have a lot of card selection in Yeah, so like you'll find it. You'll just find it. go pretty good. And then the last change that you thought was taking out the Vantress because you hate it and putting in some sort of land that produces one of both colors. Yeah, and I don't know. So like, I almost feel like it should be another creature land. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can just do another Anchorage. So the only problem with the Anchorage is it comes to Blade's Tap no matter what. Yeah. I feel like it would probably be like the hall, a second hall. Um, yeah. Or is there a. There's a white one. Yeah. Um, I can't think whatever of Whatever it is. So Cave like, of the Frost Dragon, I think. You could be, yeah. I think that's what whatever, it is. like, so given the ability to yeah. untap, like have it enter untapped. Yeah. Um, Early game. Is, yeah. yeah, it's nice. But that or potentially a second hall. Yeah. Um, that card or, is. I mean, I suppose depending on your meta, you could do a second Iganjo too. I, if, so you know, if you have a lot of aggro, if you do have a lot of aggro, it's, it's kind of good. We'll, we'll call this the flex land slot. Yeah, pretty much. So, all right. Well, now everyone's seen the list because people keep asking for it, and I know you haven't updated it. So, there, there you should go. be. Thanks for watching, everybody.